Welcome back to Vegas Live and of course as you can see who's sitting next to me, Havoc. Havoc was on our show a few weeks ago and of course the reason why we have these reoccurring guests is because they have so much stuff going on and Havoc is one of those people that you seem to get a lot going on because somebody just mentioned <laughs> your name, they're going to be actually in your show, you're going to be with them performing um, yes. this week. It's a lot of people going to be um, at my birthday bash. Your birthday? Yeah, you've got a big birthday bash and you're going to be, what, 29 and holding? Yes, 29 and holding. Um, it's actually this Saturday at the um, Beauty Bar. The Beauty Bar? Yes, in Las Vegas. Um, we got a um, um, Bone Thugs and Harmony, South Central Cartel, Spice One, which was on Spice the show. Spice One, yes. Um, we got um, Dove Shack going to do a couple of songs um, and also Chill from Compton Most Wanted. And then we got some up and coming acts. Um, uh, we got um, my homegirl, um, Lady Lovely, um, Sarah from the 420 Nurses. Oh, fabulous! Right, and the 420 Nurses is also going to be deep at the party. And Sarah told me to tell you hi. Oh. She was on your show and she's looking forward to coming back. Oh, well, well let her come back anytime. Okay. I, like, I welcome anybody who's been on my show to come back because I'm sure they've got lots of news like you do. So tell Miss Lovely Sarah Ms. hello. Miss Lovely Sarah, hello, come on in. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, 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 I'm just very, um, you know, blessed to be, um, you know, able to have a birthday party. Of course. You know. To share another birthday. Share another birthday. <laughs> Um, and um, it's just going to be an exciting night having the opportunity to also perform. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and what else is going on in your life apart from this big bash coming up? Um, how's the, how are things going? Everything's going great. Um, I got my um, company, Game Changer um, um, Enterprise yeah, Incorporated. Um, we are um, actually setting up shows and tours around the world, global, um, with my company called Game Type Booking Agency. And I'm also partners with a company called Global Game Type Booking Agency. Wow, you're going and, international. Right, we're going. I just came from Germany. Yeah. Um, I'm actually on my way to Finland. Um, Wonderful. On the third of um, August, I'm going to Finland, and then I'm going to Miami. Um, where I'm, um, we're putting on a birthday bash on the 25th and 6th of uh, August. Then I'm headed okay. to Dallas. I'm just. Well, I he's got, a got lot. It, he's got it all hanging a out. Lot You've got going a lot going on. on. Um, a lot of people complain about anything going on in their lives. What's going wrong with their lives and what's going right with yours? You're always out there though. You work yes. it. I, um, I'm considered a um, workaholic. Um, I eat, sleep and live um, my um, work. Um, even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking and dreaming of what I need to do. Yes. And you're not, and you're not ashamed to do all the hard work and to do what it takes. It's called trench work. Yeah, trench work. Yeah, it's just using the brain a little more. Absolutely. It's just using the brain. You know, everybody thinks that you know you don't have to work. Well, you tell me. You I've, have I've to. worked. I have worked all my life. Believe me. And there was well, you know, you didn't have to. No, I mean, I didn't please, have to work. But I still did. Like you, you probably don't have to work, but you still do because number one, it's in your blood. Right. You know who my father is. You know my father is uh, one of the original Charlites from, um, you know, uh, they're in the Music Hall of Fame. I was going to say, are they in the Music Hall of Fame? Yes, yes, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And the Rock and Roll. And, um, you know, having a father that's so popular and, and had so much success, it kind of, you know, um, uh, motivated and, 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 and gave me um, a drive to be, you know, successful. It also gave you a lot of opportunities, but you could have been one of these sons that didn't take the opportunity that you have. You've yes. actually taken on his name and worked it and done it, and you're actually keeping his name as a good name as of being the son. Absolutely, and I love my father, rest in peace, and um, I'm just, you know, proud to say that, you know, um, being a son of a, a, a Shylite has been a tremendous blessing for me. Yeah, and all those out there, who, the Shylites were very, very, very popular. I mean, they very were world, they were international. International, worldwide, number one hits, have you seen an old girl? Yes. You know what I mean? They got, actually, old girl is in the new... Um, of uh, um, Baywatch movie. Oh really? Oh yes. Um, also, have you seen it was um, one of the trailers for um, Finding Dory? Yes. Um, also, they had um, in the Spike Lee movie Shy Rack. So um, their music is constantly circulating. Constantly being played and constantly out there. You must feel very, you know, proud. You know, this is this is your father, and he's not here to see it, but you are. Yes. And you can see what's going on and what's happening. I mean, you must be really thrilled with that. I mean, come um, on. It's it's like it's like you know when you grow, growing up, 
you know, when I used to go to Soul Train with my dad, with yeah. Don Cornelius when he was on Channel 26, when I stayed with the Jackson 5, played with Randy and Michael and Marlon, and, you know, you see these things, it's just like, it's like a regular, like, it's like a regular life. Yeah. But as I got older and started to see yes. the popularity and the people who I was spending time with were so legendary. Yes. But I looked at them like they were just well, regular. Well, they were just regular people. Right, because... Well, people misunderstand that, but I think when you get into your culture of each level or whatever level you are, you're on, that's kind of part of your life. It's sort of, you know, it's like I know a lot of famous people, a lot of people, but to me they weren't... I didn't look at them as being famous. Right. I looked at them being friends. These are my friends and these are the people I knew. And the things you just like you're saying. Right, because we oh. was talking about Phyllis Dillis the Phyllis last Dillis, time. Yes, was I was Remember? in her, Yes. We were talking about the painting on her wall when yes. me and Janet was up in her house. And the, the great long walk. Cool, right, we have all these paintings she has. And then I went into Phyllis, I think I told you. I went into this great big closet she had. It was full of her wigs. And the wigs were from rainbows to curls to straight. I mean, and then she had all the different little cigarettes. Little whole ones with diamonds <laughs> on it, different colors, and but no. when I was little though. This was back in the early seventies when I. Yeah, mine was uh, probably in the actually early. Uh, well, it was about a couple of years before she passed away. Actually, right, yes, but, but her kitchen. I think I told you her kitchen was all red. Yeah, that's where we had the cookies and milk. Me and Janet and my sister Tawana. No, whole kitchen. Even yes. the refrigerator was painted red. Because actually, her house was up the hill. Yes. The Jackson Five house was, was here. The, yes. And we went up the hill. We was playing. Me and um, Janet. Janet and um, my sister Tawana, and that's when. Um, but these are like neighbors. I mean, you know, this right. is where you live in a, a neighborhood. These are your neighbors, and that's how it is. So, how are you thinking of things today with your life? Are you? Wow, that is a great. You always have great questions. That's <laughs> that's the thing about you. You like magnetic to great. Lingo, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wanted to call you the queen of questionnaires. <laughs> but um, anyway, my life has um, come full circle. Yes. Um, you know, when um, 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 God breaks you and he shatters your whole life to basically make you depend on one thing and one thing only, and that's him. And um, I, um, I have um, been there, and um, I'm on the journey of of the better part of it. Now. The greatness of life. Of repairing me to be better. To be, why do you feel that you've done some things? Because don't forget it's all growing up and it's all, doesn't forget the ages part of growing mm -hmm. up, but it's all growing up of what you do and how you do it. And then you suddenly regret a few things you do. Absolutely. So, so and there's a few things, and I, I, I always say to God. Oh, making a mess. <laughs> I always Make say, mess. I always say to God, I said, forgive me for all my sins that I know, and for the sins that I don't know that I have done. Absolutely. Because there are things I'm sure I do, and I'm sure it's sinful, but maybe I don't know about it. I don't know it's a right. sin. So I ask, so I just cover myself. <laughs> That's all I do. It's called the blanket of 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 of, of, of forgiveness. Blanket of forgiveness so you're going through a forgiveness mode and loving every moment of absolutely it. very thankful do you find it hard to turn around and re bring back things that you did that you shouldn't have done to be forgiven first of all I've been through the phase of forgiveness you give me I have asked God for forgiveness and have been forgiven so now what I'm doing now in my life is trying to repair certain things in my life I felt like have been hindrance to my growth. So you're okay. And so I go make a mess. I cannot make everyone forgive me, but no. what I can do is forgive myself and try to be... And clean it all up. Absolutely. Clean so the mess up and don't be ashamed. Right. We all Absolutely. do it. We're all the same out there. You know, we all we always all come in with one breath, and believe me, we all leave with a breath. Absolutely. And it's what you do in between, which is can be very dangerous. <laughs> so oh, very good. I'm, so my life is pretty balanced right now. Good. And I'm just trying to um, 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 achieve some things, you know, personal um, accomplishments to be great. Oh, how wonderful. Um, I feel like for everything I want out of my life is tied up in greatness. That's good. You know, um, if it's not about being the best, I'm not the type of person who want to waste my time and energy on mediocrity. No. You feel me like you. Yeah. You looking to be the best at this. 
You don't want to be second, even though if Barbara Walters was number one, you still want to be. Well, I'm better. not Barbara Walters, right? But you still, right? But you still want to have your own legacy I, I want my and own. be able to say, "Hey, I done this. I worked for this. I earned this. I a, own it." Right, with a self pride, yes. not a gloat. No. Not a um, like I'm better than everybody. No, I'm not better than anybody it's, it's, it's out there. It's for self satisfaction. Yeah, yeah self satisfaction. And that's what I'm looking for. Self satisfaction. Well, you're going to get it because I've fortunately been able to have that. Um, I've never been jealous of anybody because I think we're all very different. We all have our little places in life. Yeah, let envy go. Well, whatever you have in life, try to recognize it and do it. Try to recognize what you want to do. Don't be afraid. Don't knock yourself all the time. Right. Take care of yourself and just go out and do it because we're all... Work for it. Work for it. You have to work for it. You have to work for it. You have to work for it. That, that yes. you have to do. Absolutely. But look at you. You do all these interviews every week. Yes. You have a great supporting team. Yes, I do. I have a you fabulous know what I mean? team. Yes. And, and, and that makes it... Beautiful. Even better. Right. Because, it's because you're it's about, sharing it. It's about them as well. It's you're not only, it's, it. it's about Nick. And it's about Janelle. And it's about all the audience out there. And everybody that tunes into me. I mean, it's just amazing. Absolutely and that's wonderful. how I feel about the people that support me. And they're supporting you now. And, and now they're having happy. my back. And there's so many people that support me. I would be here for years to tell all of the people that haven't been in. So all influenced. you can do is say thank you. Right. Thank you to everyone that support Havoc and my journey for 32 years in this music game. And all the people that have been a part of my life for my whole life. You know, I'm, I'm just very thankful, humble. And um, you know, um, 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 I feel like that the blessings that have been bestowed on me is only God given. Well, that's a wonderful message to end our beautiful day, uh, Vegas Live. Actually, um, Havoc said one thing, um, which I paid attention to all of it, but there was one thing that stood out: was to be humble. Do not be afraid. Be humble, because we are all humble to God up there. And, uh, and to Jesus, obviously. And so be humble out there. Don't be afraid. You've got to pick something up off the floor. Pick it up. Yes. What difference does it make? And be at the Beauty Boss this Saturday. Beauty Boss this Saturday. Also, Saturday. we got the actual, we got the bus smoke out Sunday and video shoot for uh, a group that I'm working with called Fierce Riders. So we actually got a two day event. So Sunday we'll be having a smoke out at. Um, um, at a um, secret location and um secret location yeah wonder where that is and, um, so you've so got to come saturday to find out where the secret absolutely. location is for sunday <laughs> yeah you've got to come out yes there you go two-day event yeah there you go two-day event we'll be right back next week vegas live i'm ninon take care love you all <laughs>